Hi students, today's topic of discussion is the story, the voter. The voter is the unique creation of uh, Chenua Achebe. Chenua Achebe is a Nigerian novelist, a poet, a professor, and a critic. Uh, among his writing, Things Fall Apart is really a masterpiece. Now. Chenu Achebe, his main focus, that means main focus of writing, his theme always he selected for his writing was encounter, African people's encounter with the Christian missionaries. Encounter doesn't mean always the fighting, uh, you know, that means it is kind of fight with of values, right? He always tried to highlight the clash of Western culture and traditional African values, right? So the voter has projected the wrong exercise of the democratic power of the, um, by the politicians and how um, the innocent people are being manipulated by uh, the intelligent and cunning um, politicians, right? In the story Vota, he uh, has un he uh, unravels the lapses of newly introduced Western democratic system in Africa, where the native people are innocent. That means his portrayal of na native people is always they are kind of innocent and they do not understand the intricacies leading to corruption and manipulation okay and one unique feature you will find here that you will find some kind of resemblance uh, with the system of ours uh, now here another thing that to be noticed his portrayal of two main characters uh, that is quite you know uh, inspiring one of the main characters is Ruf, Rufus Okeke. Uh, he is the main protagonist character here. Author has depicted uh, uh, the moral dilemma of this character and has detailed how corrupt practice reduced the system of election uh, as well as the entire system of democracy to a mockery. Roof represents the modern youth who is smart enough to merge both modern and traditional culture of the society. He proves to be an intelligent manipulator by making a lot of compromises and adjusts for his own career. He leaves his job at Port Hardcourt uh, and returns to village to earn respect in common people's eye. His compromise is a unique strategy to become a politician. Throughout the story, he has proved to be the most optimistic character, right? He likes to accept challenges, uh, like he accepted um, the challenge of being uh, an election campaigner. On the other hand, we find Marcus. Marcus is another important character. Marcus is the one of the prominent and important character. So initially, we found Marcus as a, a mission school teacher. And further, he was dismissed uh, as a lady teacher brought an allegation against him. Immediately, after the dismissal, dismissal uh, he plunged into uh, the politics. The politics was newly introduced to his village Emufia, right? Now, people of Emufia, they were quite ignorant, illiterate, and when they found that one among them is going to be elected, they cast their vote without any monetary demand. Because they thought that their woes, their sorrow, their pain will be represented by this man to the parliament. So, happily, Marcus Ebe 
he become the minister of culture uh, in pap pap means people's alliance party but soon in the, in the within the tenure of 5 years politics completely changed his life markers uh, phenomenally uh, got changed his life got changed he gained wealth he bought a um, new mansion he bought uh, big cars he installed huge power plant for his home and he uh, gained title he gained honor keeping the others the rest in dark on the house warming party he insisted he he i'm sorry he invited uh, the entire village as he has a special intention the tenure of uh, his 5 years was almost over so he was on the verge of uh, the forthcoming election for a new election right he was in the demand of votes roof being a loyal follower of marcus read the pulse of common people and found them uh, you know they were their radical reaction that means they won't uh, cast their vote right now for marcus so the people and uh, moreover as the villagers attended the uh, opening ceremony the house warming party um, uh, thrown by marcus uh, for his new mansion the people realized the magic and the power and the money that politics gives a great feast was arranged on this occasion people enjoy the feast but denied to cast vote at free of cost they demanded money for the next election of marcus ebe so immediately roof started campaigning vehemently for marcus even marcus and roof they didn't bother they didn't hesitate striking a bargain of 4 shillings with the villagers a secret campaign was arranged to lure uh, the villagers the poor villagers okay in the demand of votes and finally uh, roof the stalwart of uh, marcus he won the game right uh, because he convinced uh, the poor villagers the poor leaders african leaders um, uh, to vote to cast their vote for marcus however on the eve of election uh, roof receives an unexpected guest and the story took the final ugly turn here till now we have seen uh, that how rufus okk has shown his loyalty his loyalty for his party his loyalty for uh, his boss marcus and his loyalty towards the villagers but now we will be discussing about the reverse side that means the dark uh, side or the dark features of roof's character that means his greed his greed for power and the moral dilemma um, in his character already we have discussed enough about marcus who obtained wealth in a very inappropriate way that means depriving the common people of emufia uh, who trusted him uh, the most and offered their votes without any cost though it is not explicitly stated but uh, the fact that he has uh, you no know, ready and easy access to a large amount of money that subtly suggests that he is a uh, corrupt now roof uh, even he bribed 
elderly local leaders right to ensure that they vote for marcus regardless regardless of what marcus might and might not do for the villagers right the here we will have to uh, think about roof's character roof is very close to villagers more than that the villagers they trust roof more them more than themselves right but here roof bribe those elderly leaders those villagers to ensure vote for marcus right regardless of the fact that marcus may may not do a favor to those villagers here we notice that the local leaders even they are more concerned with receiving payment a very meager though receiving payment for their personal profit that means even they are not concerned about their democratic right got it so this villagers they think about only their personal profit okay gradually achebe the author ironically explores the theme of loyalty here he portrays that not only do the elders accept a bribe in return of their loyalty to marcus but roof what i was talking about that in the evening right on the eve of the election on the day of election what happened to roof roof received a guest who was he he was none other than the opponent that means the leader of the opposition party roof who was the right hand of marcus the strongest stalwart of the party he even accepted a bribe on the eve of the election he was bribed that means maduka the opponent leader he offered him 5 pounds and roof was lured roof couldn't you know refuse couldn't decline this offer right and he accepted the bribe as the opponent leader paid a secret visit to his house offered him 5 pounds roof was completely mesmerized by the red notes and couldn't decline the offer and ensured the fact for voting the opponent leader and not voting for his own party see the twist that the author has nicely brought roof was the most trustworthy person of marcus and in that particular evening what happened this maduka the opponent leader he paid a visit to roof's house he offered a bribe and roof accepted the bribe and not only he accepted at the cost of voting to the opponent leader he accepted the bribe right now uh, uh what he did uh, he promised that he won't vote for his own party right and he took an oath by touching the native deity uh, maduka brought the native deity in a clay pot it he covered that uh, deity that pot with a red cloth and uh, roof he touched the pot and he promise the situation here uh, many way ironic right as there is a sense that even though roof was working for marcus he cannot be trusted by marcus Achebe has placed a spotlight on the way that elections were held in Nigeria at that time with a possibility uh, you know uh, 
that that often it happens in a common place on the day of election right that is uh, you know mm, that uh, that he has detailed chinua achebe has detailed uh, with an intricacy we can uh, such intricacy he has detailed that uh, we visualize uh, the scene we can see that over enthusiastic illiterate innocent voters who are really ignorant about the system the high uh, for them the high life band uh, is been hired by marcus to lure the voters uh, and they are dancing with the tune of band whereas roof though he is been bribed he is now working for marcus he is prancing up and down pouring with so sweat and working for his own party that means marcus party uh truly he is deceiving marcus and this is the situation on the day of election as the story progress and as we approach towards the end to the concluding part we can see there is another twist waiting for the readers marcus gives an instruction to roof because he is the most trustworthy stalwart ever marcus had he asked roof to cast his vote for uh, you know to that means uh, from his party roof will be the first one to cast his vote now for the first time roof starts feeling guilty that means he became very much guilty conscious he become guilty conscious about the prospect of voting maduka he torn apart between two thoughts that is voting maduka the opponent leader as he has taken an oath of voting uh, maduka by touching the clay pot by touching the native deity and another uh, way he is very much loyal to marcus whom now he cannot vote anymore got it so here he suffers with the sense of guilty and he becomes the uh, guilty conscious so he was very much loyal to marcus once and he understood that now it is no way possible to uh, vote for marcus but as he was very clever he understood that now the people become radical and people do not want marcus anymore as their leader marcus can be elected for this election but no more he will be the leader uh, you know for the next election so if he want to sustain with his career uh, of politics he has to change his party so he needs a new party roof right so in that aspect he needs to change the party and moreover whatever the respect he has gained in the mind of the villagers that should be sustained so mm, uh, what he wanted he wanted to continue all these aspects right moreover uh, here 
uh, one more thing that I want to uh, revise that is the introduction of the concept of IIE that is the native deity. The native deity is, is uh, has played very you know very important role here uh, dear students. You must understand that the thought of deity explores the theme of African belief and tradition. Finally, we can see this impact uh, on the mind of roof at the uh, you know uh, at the polling station, right? So finally, what we can see uh, that the effect of the deity that we will be here. Polling station. So when Roof asked, uh, when Marcus, uh, you know, requested him to cast his vote, that means to move inside the polling booth, he was hesitating. Literally, he was hesitating. He was afraid, and this fear was triggered by his traditional belief, right? Traditional belief that. Uh, that he has in the native god right that if he doesn't cast his vote for maduka then probably he will be punished got it and uh, if he breaks his promise if he fails to fulfill his promise uh, to vote for maduka then he will be severely punished right and on the other hand there is Marcus, whom he, he is supposed to be loyal. The author draws a very intense and severe and interesting end of the story at the polling booth. Roof with remorseful thought entered into the polling booth. Right? He was holding his ballot paper you know the system of uh, you know uh, voting that the voter uh, the electorate uh, will uh, have the paper the ballot paper in his hand in his or her hand right and with that uh, the nominated candidate whom you are going to elect uh, you will have to cast your vote right and then after casting vote your finger will be marked with the indelible ink so here he went inside the booth and there uh, he was very remorseful uh, having the remorseful thought he entered into the polling booth and he had that ballot paper after uh, entering inside what he did he folded he folded that ballot paper and nicely he ripped right he tore it uh, along the crease that means into two halves and what he did he put each in each half in both the box that means each half in each box one in he cast the vote in the name of Marcus and he cast the vote in name of Maduka. Got it? So, Ru feels that he has honored his commitment for voting Maduka as well as voting for Marcus. Right? So, this is the nice end that Achebe has drawn for the story, the voter.